What's up guys, Lou here, and the reason for this video is that I just picked up some brand new fresh RAM for my MacBook Pro. Yes, my MacBook Pro has been stuck at 4 gigs since I bought it, and it's really feeling like a bottleneck now in terms of performance when I'm using Final Cut Pro 10, etc. I've been wanting to upgrade it for a while, and I, I saw a good deal on some Mac memory from Corsair that's been designated for use with MacBooks, iMacs, Mac Minis, etc. But the purpose for this video is to tell you that you don't necessarily need to buy Mac designated memory to upgrade your Mac and oftentimes you'll pay more than you should just to have a sticker that says Mac memory on it. The only thing that you need to worry about when buying replacement memory for your Mac is that the timings and the voltage match up. At least those are the two most important things to attempt to match. Um, the other thing, of course, is the RAM speed, but I assume already that you know what you're looking for in terms of RAM speed. Depending on your Mac, you'll either need DDR3. If you've got an older Mac, you'll need DDR2. In this case, it's 1333 megahertz. But anyways, there's going to be a number of different RAMs available at 1333 megahertz and what you're going to want to look for is the timings. Now in this case, I'm not sure if you can read this or not, but the timing is 9-9-9-24. And that timing matches up exactly with the Samsung RAM, usually it's Samsung RAM, that ships in your MacBook Pro, iMac, etc. So when these timings match up, you know you're going to get stable performance out of your new RAM. If you've got um, a DDR3 RAM that or memory that doesn't match up from a timing standpoint or a voltage standpoint, you might get unstable performance, you might get kernel panic, panics, etc. So it's not so much about finding RAM that says Mac memory on it or ordering it from a company that has you know pre-qualified it to be used. If you know what you're looking for in terms of timings, then you can pick something that matches up and, and you know is going to perform correctly. Um, the next thing to mention is that the voltage is 1.5 volts. There are some RAMs in um, this range of DDR3 notebook memory that will have like 1.3 voltage or, or varying voltages. You wanna match that up as well. So you wanna be looking for 1.5 voltage. So anyways, I hope this has helped you guys out a little bit. I'm gonna be driving home right now installing this memory into my uh, MacBook Pro. It's much needed. I'm going all the way from four gigs to 16 gigs, as I said before. I'll probably run some performance tests as well to show you guys why having more memory is important, especially for video editing or you know multimedia intensive tasks or other tasks for that matter. I'm sure that a lot of you probably know that the more intensive your computer use, the more need you have for memory. So uh, anyway, guys, that's just been a quick update to let you know about some of the content that's gonna be coming up today. This is gonna get us started. I'll do an installation video, show you just how to install these, as I said a second ago, and I'm repeating myself now. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next video and uh, stay tuned to the channel. Okay, later.